welcome to another studio vlog. This one is going to be slightly different to my other ones as I'm going to be sharing how I set up my print on demand service for Etsy. So I wanted to do a print on demand service for my shop for a really long time. I just haven't really had the resources to do so. Originally I've had prints in my shop where I would print them somewhere else then I'd get them shipped here and when they would sell, I would then ship them to the customer. The reason why I wanted to change to more of a print on demand type service was because I wanted more variety in my shop. I couldn't justify buying loads and loads of stock and then getting them shipped to me and then having stock everywhere and having no room. It was the lack of space it was also the lack of freedom and also it would cost a lot of money to print a lot of stock and actually not know whether those would actually sell or not. It could mean that you would end up having dead stock. So I was really happy to get started with this project. I wanted to take you on the journey with me of what printer I bought, uh, the kind of paper that I use and kind of just the process it took for me to print off the first set of prints that I was putting in my demand print Etsy shop. I do go into detail here and there in the vlog, but at the end I'm gonna go through everything from the printer that I used, the paper, and the software that I used to print off as well. So with that being said, let's get on with the vlog. I wanted to print my own art prints I realized that I needed a little bit more of a convenient way to cut my art prints for quite some years I have been using just a ruler and a scalpel which is fine but I really wanted to find a way that was a little bit less tedious because a lot of my art prints are normally custom size so I have to cut them down to varying sizes so I finally decided to invest in a new paper guillotine. So I thought this would be a much easier way to cut down my custom prints now that I'm printing them myself. Uh, but what I would really like to do is to find a space in this studio so that I can just leave it out, have its own dedicated cutting space so that I don't have to worry about getting it in and out or setting it up each time. So yeah, I'm gonna go find somewhere in the studio and see if I can create a little nook to do my cutting in.
day and I've got most of my prints sorted that I want to have for my first print drop. So I did a poll on Instagram to see what illustrations were people's favourites that they might want for prints and a lot of them are my favourites too. So we've got this one here, fossils, lake monster, little fisherman, a space picnic and a little shipping lane monster. I love the quality of these. I have been using the Canon Pixma Pro 200 and it is such a good printer. And I've actually been using the matte premium photo paper for this and it's such good quality. I'm really shocked <laughs> that it looks so good. Have a look, look at the watercolor detail. It's just so nice. I really wasn't expecting that much variation of the paper seeing all the texture from the watercolors but apparently I was wrong and it looks really cool. So there are a couple of things I do still really need to do to actually open this print store. So what I do really want to do next is update my Etsy. I haven't updated my banner for a while and since I'm introducing all these new products, I feel like it needs a bit of a revamp. So one, I need to make myself a new Etsy banner. So I'm going to try and figure out what might look good. So I'm gonna try and design that and photograph that today. And also I still need to take photos of the new products. So it's going to be a photo kind of day.
has arrived. All of it. <laughs> I ended up buying a lot of it just to make sure that it had enough on the Etsy listings and to cover everything that I'm putting up for this launch so that I don't run out. So now I can finish off the listings and get ready for the actual launch. I've pretty much done everything now. I'm ready to launch. I would really like to launch today, but before I do that, I am probably just gonna go over all the titles, all the tags, because I'm always paranoid and I need to check everything. But I'm excited. It's gonna be really cool. I haven't launched a set of products like this really ever. I've always done it in trickles of like one or two products. So I'm really excited. I'm also really nervous and I don't know why. <laughs> so I've done my banner. So my Etsy has now got a, a brand new look to the top of the page and I've got my Instagram promotional photo ready that I can also put onto other social media. So it's all ready to go. I just need to double check everything. I'm gonna go check everything now and then I'm gonna press live. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make them live. They're up! Yeah! Oh my god, so cool! Okay, now I need to publish everything online. <laughs> okay. Right, so to coincide with all of this, I am going to send my newsletter because my newsletter subscribers are getting a 10% discount for this launch and then I can post on my Instagram and my other social medias. So, okay, I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna do that now. Okay. Okay, it's up. It's all good. It's open. End of the vlog. It's the end of the vlog. Hello, welcome back to the end of the vlog. So, I am gonna go through some of the details of the things that I spoke about in the video. So we're gonna go over the printer, the print paper, and everything that I can think of to do with this print launch. So the printer that I used is the Canon Pixma Pro 200. I specifically chose this printer for a number of reasons. It was highly rated online, it also does A3 printing as well as A4, so if I do want to print A3 in the future, which I would love to do, it can do that later. I also really like that it can do borderless and full bleed printing, which I haven't done just yet, but I just, I like the option to do that in the future. I currently print with a whiteboard around the edge and it just means that that people have a bit of a leeway when they want to frame the print. I also quite like this printer because it's a mid-range printer. It's not super expensive, but it's still enough for it to be a good quality printer. I would recommend it if you are wanting to try out this uh, printing on demand or doing high quality prints yourself because I didn't want to spend loads of money on something really, really top end because I wanted to make sure there was room for error, especially if it didn't work or I didn't like it. Uh, this was like the perfect mid-ground. I also didn't choose a Canon printer for any particular reason other than that I'd heard that it was highly rated and I'm used to Canon products, so I just felt more comfortable using a printer that was from Canon. I film on a Canon um, and I've been using Canon for the majority of my life, so I just felt like I would be better off using a product that I was used to. I have also heard that Epson is really good as well, so it just depends on what your preference is. So with that being said, the printer comes with its own software so that you can print off from your computer. So the first printer program that it comes with when you first install it onto your computer is the Canon Easy Photo Print Editor, which is really good for just some basic printing software. I used it right in the beginning when they gave you a little printer start pack, basically a sample pack of photo paper, and I used that to test out the software. And it was good, uh, but I wanted to try a more professional setup for the printing. So if you go onto Canon's website, you can download an additional 
program which is called Professional Print and Layout Program. It mostly gives you more settings so that you can edit your print to come out as accurate as possible for you. In my personal opinion, I feel like this printer prints off pretty accurately from just the standard automatic settings, which is really, really good. I will say that when I first printed out, it did come with a very, very slight warm hue to the prints, but even so, it was so, so slight that you really couldn't tell and I was just really being nitpicky and even after I changed some of the settings that pretty much went away. So this print is great. I, I would recommend this printer. So the paper that I'm using at the moment is the Canon Photo Paper Pro Premium Matte in A4. So I chose this paper because it was quite thick. It's 201 GSM so it's a nice nice thickness. It also comes with a nice matte finish which makes sense because I would prefer my prints to look more like the originals and I paint on watercolour paper which is nice and textured so it looks nice on matte paper. I also wanted to choose a paper that was in the Canon family. This may not be the case later on, I just wanted to make sure that everything worked properly. I know that I can go out there and choose different papers from different brands, but at the moment this one seems to work really well and is also perfect because it's Canon and it goes with the Canon printer, so I'm pretty happy. So for the guillotine, I chose the Dull 534 Professional Guillotine Trimmer. So this is an A3 trimmer, I wanted to make sure that I could have one that would go up to at least an A3 in length because once again, if I'm gonna have a printer that's printing off in A3, I wanna make sure that I'm gonna be able to have a trimmer that can guillotine the majority of those lengths. So for the dimensions, it has an 18 inch cut length. It has a 15 sheet capacity and it is self sharpening, which I thought was pretty cool. It also comes with the nice guard so that you can be safe with your guillotine. And I really like it. And I know this is a very surface, value thing, but I like that it's blue. I think it goes with the studio. So that's a plus. So that's pretty much all the details about what I use to make my print shop. So if you have any further questions, please do put them in the comments below. I will make sure to answer them for you. But for now, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.